Hello, everybody. I have um, a very sweet book I want to share with you today that is called If I Was the Sunshine. And this is by Julie Fogliano and Lauren Long. Um, I really want to think about this month as we think about the power of two, because it's the second month, and we have a lot of fun dates in this month. We have February 2nd, 2-2, two, two, and then we have February 22nd, which will be coming up, which is 2-22 of the year 2022, which is pretty amazing. But thinking about kind of that power of um, having somebody to be your partner or your buddy or that power of two. So if I want to um, share this really sweet book with you, that's called If I Was the Sunshine. Okay, I love the illustrations too, so I might pause on these for just a little bit. Um, but I want you to think about um, this author's sort of motivation. Um, why do you think they wrote this? Um, and really kind of the the beautiful part of friendship and relationships that they really highlight in this text called If I Was the Sunshine. All right. Um, can you see this sweet little picture here of the parent bear and the baby bear? So cute. All right. If I was the sunshine. If I was the sunshine and you were the day, I'd call you hello. And you'd call me stay. Hmm. Sunshine. If I were the sunshine and you were the day, I'd call you hello and you'd call me stay. Let's think about that combination. If you were the winter and I was the spring, I'd call you whisper and you'd call me sing. I really think about this partnering of words that these authors use, right? Um, the winter and spring, and what did she say? How you'd call me whisper. I'd call you whisper and you'd call me sing. I love the play on words that they're having here. If I was a flower and you were a nose, Hmm, let's think about that relationship between a flower and a nose. I'd call you sniff and you'd call me rose. Isn't that um, funny that there's a sniff in a spring and then it's a skunk smelling the rose, something that smells beautiful and something that maybe doesn't always smell so nice. If you were a bird, and I was a tree. Okay, think about that relationship. How does a bird relate to a tree? You'd call me home and I'd call you free. Look at what the woodpecker pecked into the tree. If I was an apple and you were a worm, all right, an apple and a worm, You'd call me lunch. Do you see the cute little worm down here at the apple? Okay, if I was an apple and you were a worm, you'd call me lunch. What would the apple call the worm? And I'd call you squirm. Do you see a pattern that this author's using? The way that they're playing the two things together about the relationship between the first, if you were this and I were this, and what they would call each other, and then that they rhyme too. Mm. If you were a mountain and I was the sky, if you were a mountain and I was the sky. Ooh, so let's think about that. If you were a mountain and I call you the sky and I was the sky, um, the sky, what would that call the mountain? I'd call you almost and you'd call me high. Can you think about that for a second? I'd call you almost, why? Because it almost reaches and you'd call me high. If I was the ocean and you were a boat, oof, look at this one, that ocean and the boat seems like a harder relationship. It doesn't look as kind in this one as some of the other relationships do. Okay, if I was the ocean and you were a boat, 
you'd call me wild. So the boat calls the ocean wild. What do you think the ocean would call the boat? And I'd call you float. You guys look it. We never know what's underneath, do we? There was a whale underneath blowing that boat up. If you were the thunder and I was a cloud, you'd call me softly. Mm, I think I know how this one's gonna rhyme. Hey, if you were the thunder and I was a cloud, so the thunder would call the cloud softly. What is the cloud gonna call thunder that rhymes with it? Ready? And I'd call you loud. I was the silence and you were a sound. Hmm, if I was the silence and you were a sound. Okay, I'd call you missing. Hmm. Is there an opposite to missing from silence and sound that rhymes with sound? And you'd call me found. Can you see the little deer down there watching the geese? If you were a firefly and I was the dark, you'd call me everywhere. And I'd call you spark. If I was the morning and you were the night, you'd call me tomorrow. Okay, so the night would call morning tomorrow. What would the morning call night? Oh, look, the girl who had the fireflies is just right down here. Can you see her? Oh, that's cool that they put that in the illustration. Okay, sorry, let me go back to the text. If I was the morning and you were the night, you'd call me tomorrow and I'd call you sleep tight. Um, I know that's a really simple story, but let me tell you what I love about it. I love the illustrations and all of the nature that's involved in it. And I really love the way that the authors structured this text to have um, sort of opposite things as a partnership, right? If I was the sunshine or um, like how morning and night are together, sunshine and I can't remember. If I was the sunshine and you were the day, so those go together and then there were some opposites too. And then thinking about how they would call each other. Um, and then the play on words and the rhyming. So I just really think this is such a creative thing. I love the comparisons um, and the analogies, which is a really cool word. And if you look at some of our um, tasks that you could do with this, um, you could do some analogies work. But here's what I would really love, friends, okay? I have this wall in my office called the Hawk Art Gallery, and there's no art up on it right now. I would love it if you guys have a moment this week or this month or sometime, if you could think of your own analogy, like this book does, you kind of model your writing after this book, right? You compare two things like the sunshine in the day or the morning and tomorrow or silence and sound, and then think about what they'd call each other. And if you can put a rhyme in there too, you would really model the structure um, that these authors used, okay? Um, I hope you enjoyed this story. I can't wait to see if you try this. I would love to see pictures or even just what you write and come up with. And I hope you have a great day.